Welcome to the second bunker. Okay, so we are in Mountain Town. We have picked up a battery, uh, which you need to find in a car somewhere in Mountain Town. So you need to extract that battery. You need to dump off all your extra weight and then head up here. So now those of you who have done Winter Mute uh, will know this is where you come down from when the plane crashes at the beginning of the game. So we are basically backtracking the way that uh, you come down the mountain uh, to that uh, radio tower that you see in the Wintermute storyline. So we're going to climb up, we're going to get the uh, tower repaired, and then beginneth the longest journey ever uh, for finding what was needed for um, this repair job. So I ended up all the way back at the Carter Hydroelectric Dam and you will see that over the course of this uh, video, which runs to about 22 minutes. And I'm also going to address acorns as well. So a new food source, well, coffee source uh, in the game uh, to make another hot beverage. So here we go. Here is the signal tower that we need to repair. So let's get it opened up. Okay, well, that battery needs to come out, which we can repair straight away because we've got our battery. So bye-bye, old one. Hello, new one. There we go, connect it up. Now I have enough fuses on me, uh, so that's good. And I have enough wiring, so there we go. Three new fuses, lovely job. And I've got wiring on me, again, which I found in Mountain Town, so I will repair that as well. What I have not been able to find is enough metal. So we'll get that closed. And let's go and have a look what's in the supply bin. Now, we haven't looked at it yet. Uh, so what's in here compared to what's been in the previous ones? Okay, nothing. The answer to that is it was empty. Okay, so there is literally nothing here. We're now going to need to skip along uh, to find five pieces of scrap metal. Now, I only had, uh, I think it was three. Uh, so anyway... So what we've done, we've gone all the way to Carter Hydroelectric and I found the one missing piece that I needed. So I had four in total. Uh, I needed to find one and I've managed to find that one piece of metal and I found it in here in the toilet. So I didn't need to go very far into the Carter Hydroelectric Dam and I was able to locate a piece of scrap metal, which of course we now need to take back to Mountain Town um, to fix the transceiver array so that we can find bunker number two. Okay, so now we're near the Carter Hydroelectric Dam. Now, those of you that play the game a lot will recognize that this tree is new. So what you need to do is you need to go to the base of the tree and search for acorns. It's that simple. There we go. So we need to remove the leathery shell prior to cooking, and when we cook them, we will make a nice coffee. Now, what it doesn't tell you is to smash these, you need a heavy hammer. So without a heavy hammer, you can't do anything with these acorns other than keep them on you until you locate a heavy hammer, which you can then use to smash them up, turn them into ground dust, and have some acorn coffee. Now I've skipped forwards again, so we're back into Mountain Town. We've got our scrap metal, so we've come back from that way. And we are going back up to the transceiver array. Oh, there's a wolf, lovely stuff. Well, I know it's over near the uh, petrol station, so we'll just head in this general direction. But again, as I said on the previous uh, video, I've done this on the easiest difficulty, just so that the wolves aren't a pain in the ass. Um, and bearing in mind, actually, the fact that I did have to spend uh, three and a bit hours traversing across the regions uh, to actually locate scrap metal, uh, shows that even on an easier difficulty like Pilgrim, um, you're still n not necessarily going to have everything that you need uh, to be able to get these repaired. Now I know it doesn't matter the difficulty, you will need to find a car battery in Milton, uh, so in here in the town, uh, and most of the other parts will be around. Now I don't know for Interloper if they're going to make it even more difficult now that they've introduced it to Interloper. Uh, I would imagine they will. 
again, it's supposed to be ultra challenging, so I would imagine Signal Void is going to be ultra challenging on Interloper. Uh, in fact, there should be some kind of medal or thing for the first person that does it. Uh, but anyway, so we're traipsing back through Milton and, of course, up the same path to where we were before. And we're going to get the transceiver array fixed. And then we will skip. Uh, that was something else, actually. Those Some of those bushes now, of course, you can harvest uh, for twigs. Um, I was just looking to see if that was one that you could harvest. Because I'm not particularly laden with weight at the moment because I've dropped everything off at the uh, old lady's house in Milton and using it as a store reserve at the moment. So I've literally packed most of my gear in there. Uh, so I'm running, I think I was running quite light uh, by this point. Or well, knowing me, I'll still be on the cusp edge of uh, 35 kilograms. As I like to be. But again, up we go, climb up, and we will get this repaired. And then we will see what's what, because of course we're going to need two things. We're going to need an Aurora Borealis, and we are going to need um, the right region. Uh, so this you will see, of course, once you repair uh, the Mountain Town uh, transceiver array. So up we go. Again, not one that you can harvest. I think that's probably because it's one of the older regions, but hey. And again, up we go. So again, no, can't do anything with that. Up to our storage bin, where what I'd done was I dropped off uh, the previous uh, metal that I had. So there's the three bits that I had, and I now have a total of five. So I dropped off, so I've, uh, I am actually at weight capacity because I've now got a sprain risk. Uh, so I am at capacity. Uh, let's get this opened and get the metal replaced. So we have our five pieces and we're using those five pieces to get this repaired. Lovely job. And then of course all we have to do then is get it turned on and wait for an Aurora. There we go, lovely, repaired, and again, repaired, and of course, as always, don't forget, switch it on, because if you don't, <laughs> you'll, it won't work. So, investigate signal in Hushed River Valley. So, you can get to Hushed River Valley from Milton, uh, you just need to head north, um, but I will show you that anyway. So, there we go. Let's uh, skippeth ye forwards. So we're still in Milton. There's the old lady's house. And what we're doing is we're going north and we're going to go up to the back end of the map. Let's uh, maybe pick up some sticks. Uh, you never know when you're going to need uh, to be able to create a heat, so a heat source if you get too cold. I'm apparently stuck on a snow drift there. I think jump is something that should really be introduced to this game, if I'm being honest. Um, but hey, there's obviously a lot coming over the course of the year, but those little bits on the floor that you can't walk past are hilarious. Uh, like the uneven and broken road surfaces when you get stuck on them. Okay. Time to look for shelter. Yeah, no, it's not time to look for shelter yet, Mackenzie. We are going to carry on. I was thinking I may have, uh, I could have probably put this at a higher speed, uh, but again, it doesn't really matter. It's just so you guys know where you are. So you've come out of the north side of Milton. Uh, as you can see, I've already searched uh, these cars, mainly because I was looking for scrap metal. As I said, it was a lengthy journey. I searched pretty much the whole of uh, Mountain Town, uh, looking for scrap metal. So the farm, all the surrounding buildings, uh, the hobo place, there's some accelerant in here. That I left behind last time and now that my uh, capacity is lower I can uh, actually carry it which is good always open up the visors um, you never know if you're going to find a memento and a memento key uh, to go and find something so it's always worth checking kind of a side note it's uh, an older part of the game but just worth mentioning anyway and again we carry on north as the brisk winds rush at our back and the weather 
gets increasingly cold. Now I will say I camped out in the church during a storm, uh, again while I was searching for metal scraps. So uh, might as well uh, survey the local area. Uh, I think a lot of this I've uh, I've been surveying patches. So as you can see, uh, when I was in, that's what I was doing. Now you need to follow this up until you get to the corpse. There is an aurora. Isn't that uh, surprising? So that means our radio is already going to work. So let's go to our tools and use our radio. So we haven't got enough nighttime energy yet for it to be triggering. So it's not doing anything yet, but it will as the night progresses. So we'll just keep walking up the road because it's quite a trek, uh, to be honest. Um, if you know where the entrance to Hush River Valley is, then obviously by all means carry on. Uh, schlep yourself up there and come back to this video uh, once you're ready. Or keep watching, of course. It's entirely up to you. And if you are finding this content helpful and enjoying my channel, then do please subscribe as that would help me out greatly. And also boot that like button just to let uh, the algorithm know that you are enjoying this video. Anyway, meanwhile, back to Mackenzie's journey up the side of a mountain. Oh no, sorry, I mean he's on the road, taking a leisurely stroll in the evening twilight. Again, as you can see, we still have no radio signal, even though it is getting dark dark. Uh, you're still not getting the ping on the blue uh, for Hushed River Valley, the same as we did for the first bunker, uh, which you will get uh, once uh, it's dark enough. So again, crawl through here. There we go. And keep following the road. There's the body. So again, that's your marker. So frozen corpse, as you can see, empty. And keep on trucking. Okay, so it's kind of off in this general direction, uh, the cave, uh, that you're going to need to go through to get to the Hushed River Valley. So remember that corpse and then head up in this direction. I'm thinking there's a stick. Should I take it? Why yes, because I'm two things. I'm a hoarder and a pyromaniac. Okay, so again, keep going. As you can see, it's still not working. So the radio at the moment is still not pinging anything. So if you didn't know where the entrance to Harsh River Valley is, um, I mean, if you haven't explored this region before, but see there's a cave up there, that is where we need to go. So again, you can see the radio is still dead. It's not saying anything. It's not leading us there. So we will now go through the cave system. I will cut the footage and we'll come straight out the other side. Uh, and then we will go and find that bunker. So again, we're gonna need some light in here. So nope, don't want any of that. We want this. Get the torch lit. There we go. Gotta love a good old miner's lamp. And into the cave we go. So now we're out the other side. We're in Hushed River Valley. And as you can see, it's down to the left. So we're going to follow round and we're going to find bunker number two. That's right, bunker number two. I must admit I'm really enjoying this Signal Void content so far uh, and how it's going to tie in to the rest of the roadmap over the rest of this year with all the other content drops and the new regions. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Hinterland are going to tie it all together, uh, which I'm hoping they will. Uh, but we'll have to see. So again, you just keep pointing the radio to get a general idea of where you are heading uh, and then obviously hope that the terrain that you're going down uh, is going to be okay. Uh, so we're going to go around here to the bottom and follow around. Okay, so we're still following the signal. Uh, I will say we're actually already fairly close. Uh, you will see that the uh, radio starts pipping in the not too distant future as we get closer to the bunker. 
Now again, there's a couple of occasions where you walk and you might be like, oh, no, can't go that way, have to keep going round. But of course, you do get the bonus of the light uh, with it being um, during an aurora, which of course you need, uh, because without an aurora in these regions, the radio wouldn't work and you wouldn't be able to locate it. Uh, so I just cut out a little bit there where I paused the game for an extended period of time to go and grab myself a coffee at the time when I was doing this. Uh, so we're in the same part of the map, nothing's changed. So again, you're just following the radio signal and you're looking for that max signal angle. And there goes a rabbit, straight up a rock. Uh, maybe could have cornered it and killed it and uh, had it for tea but don't need to because inside the bunker I'm sure there's going to be plenty more of that ham in a can and corn in a can. Here we go. There's the sound that we're looking for. Okay, so again, no, weaker in that direction, stronger in this direction. Okay. It's getting louder. It's getting more frequent. And we are on a cliff. Can we go around the edge? Let's see. Yeah, are we going to be able to get down here? Oh, no. No, probably not. We may have uh, jinxed ourselves there. Okay, no, we're going to have to go back. Okay, where was the edge? Let's do a bit of running. Okay. Yeah, come on, Mackenzie. That wasn't that much of a fall. Because what we certainly don't want to do is, of course, lose the signal. So let's drop down here. There we go. Another little drop. No risk of breaking our ankles, I don't think. Oh, another drop by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. Of course you're in pain, Mackenzie. Why not? So again, we are basically tracking along the left edge of Hush River Valley. Um, what I will do... Um, yeah... No, I'll just leave it at that. It's the left-hand edge of Hushed River Valley. What I was going to say is I may post a, a link to an image in the description, but nah. You guys can find this. I mean, I'm sh I've shown you enough information here, and here it is. You know this pile of snow? You know what it is. Why is it not letting me do anything? Ah, there it is. Okay, so uncover. And here we have it. Bunker 2. Okay. Let's open up the hatch and go inside. Okay, search bunker gamma. Okay, so we could do with our light, because although we've got the aurora and the lights are flickering, I much prefer the steady burn. Ah, scrap metal, nice. I've now learnt that any piece of scrap metal must be taken and must be saved. Okay, in we go. Oh, of course, a couple of fuses, so some extra bits to repair our radios. Uh, anything else interesting here? Metal shelf, which of course, if I had uh, a hacksaw, I would be able to break it down. Anything in the drawers? Oh, some beef jerky. Nice. Some more scrap metal. Nice, so that's two pieces. Ah, and some wires. So we've got some fuses, some wires, some scrap metal. There's a medicine shelf there. I'm sure there's some meds inside. There's another piece of scrap metal. Nice. Anything inside here? No. Again, there's a couple of lantern fuels down there as well. Do we have enough light to see what we're doing? We've got interview transcript 14. Session 14, Project Medical Officer interviewing patient 7. Return to the first instance. What did you see? I was at the beach, just pictures in my head, feelings. One of those beaches where the, the sand goes way down to the water, no drop off. I remember a, a gray day, and dark water, no wind, no waves. I was alone, looking around a lot. I didn't understand what was happening. What, what do you think when you're that little? Always wondered why it was that day, that trip. It stuck with me. Focus on the ending. The final frame. They lost me. Just a little kid. 
Okay, so that is the transcript. We now need to find the security officer's log, which is also in here as well. Uh, now, obviously, there's lots of uh, little bits and pieces, but uh, let's get our light back on so that we can actually see a bit better. Now, obviously, there's the lantern fuel down here. Two of them. I now have an affliction, uh, which is a sprain risk, of course, because uh, I'm now overloaded. Oh, there's a summit soda there. Nice. And again, nothing on the uh, laptop there. Anything in the drawers. Always worth having a looky look. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nope, nothing at all. There is a magnifying glass there on the table if you don't already have one. Uh, but of course I do within my uh, items. So, nice magnifying glass. 75% integrity, not bad. Uh, I've already got one with 96% integrity. Uh, so I certainly don't need one with 75 uh, right, we've got some spray paint in there. No guns in the gun cupboard, unfortunately. And down we go into the next room. Bucket and crate. And then there it is. Security Chief's Log 6. Might as well not waste the fuel in our lantern. The island hasn't been making our lives any easier. Hauling loads from the coast to the inland bases has been slow and costly. And people are starting to notice our operation around the airfield and mine. It's getting harder to stay under the radar. But the character of the locals, both here and far inland, seems in our favor. There aren't any helping hands. Outsiders get ignored and then forgotten. And we play the part. Hmm. So the airfield we know, that's Forsaken Airfield, but the mine. Hmm. Which mine? As others within the uh, Reddit group have already pointed out, there is a picture uh, of what looks like a heavy machine digger, mining digger, uh, in one of the locations. So hey, that might well be our next location. Gonna go. but look at all this lovely food. Mm, nice. Can't carry it all, mind you, but lots of lovely food. But that... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is bunker number two. If you're enjoying this content, as I said earlier, please do subscribe as it helps me out massively. And I will show you one last thing before we finish this, is one of the items inside the cupboards. And that is some wool long johns. So yes, in the, uh, one of the cupboards here, we've got some antiseptic up here, uh, which I've already got, uh, so don't need to take another one. Uh, there's some more food down there, some canned corn. Let's have a look in these cupboards. What have we got? Oh, a decent hoodie. Yeah, ragged wool long johns. Boom. Oh, yes. The best undergarments ever. Till next time, see you then.